Here in this national cemetery lie men who fought to preserve the unity of our country, men who gave their lives to rid the world of oppression. And here, as in other national cemeteries, as well as in private and overseas military cemeteries, will rest the dead heroes of World War II. And they will be a lasting symbol of mankind's highest ideals, freedom from want and freedom from fear. Mindful of the great debt the country owes to those who fell in our defense, the Congress of the United States has made it possible for the next of kin to decide where final burial of the war dead shall be made. At the White House, President Truman receives Under Secretary of War Kenneth C. Royal and the Quartermaster General of the Army, T.B. Larkin, to launch the program for return and final burial of World War II dead and to deliver his message to America's next of kin. In his message, the President expresses the sentiment of the nation in deep and everlasting appreciation of the heroic efforts of those